You know, everybody gets knocked down. Everybody gets beat up. Like whether it was physically in your situation or whether it's emotionally or just beat up in general by life. But it's what happens when you get knocked down that, that ultimately matters. There's some important points to discuss when it comes to the fear of, of failure. And, and the first is most people aren't, most people don't have really a fear of actual failure in itself. It's the fear of failing in front of other people. And sure. so the what will someone else think? Yeah, so, so the majority of people aren't really scared of failing by themselves. They're just scared of failing in front of others. Right. Uh, and so it's it's the opinions of others or, or somebody else that they know. And usually it's the important people they know, like their family, like parents, spouse, um, spouse kids, uh, coworkers, Brothers. just friends, family, all that, um, of what they'll think. Uh, because you attempted something and you failed, what, what right. is it going to look like from their perspective? And that's usually what, what holds people back uh, the most of the time. It's, right. it's not, the, it's not the, the, the fear of failure, it's the fear of, fear of failing you know, the people seeing. Quite frankly, when it comes to putting content out on social media, like getting knocked down a few times here and there is good. Like It gives you the opportunity to be transparent. It gives you the opportunity to talk about stuff that nobody else is willing to talk about. Like, like I'm in a weird way lately, I've been thinking like, man, I feel like there's something bad needs to happen in my life. I, mean, I don't want anything bad to happen in my life, but I feel like if it did, it would give me such a great opportunity to expose it and to like basically work through it on a public platform. Micro frustrated, macro focused, and that's what it's all about. Um, I am so 100% crystal clear. Uh, and focused on what I'm doing with documenting uh, on here. And honestly, I'm gonna you know, just being straight up with you guys all day today. I just didn't want to get on here. I didn't want to get on Facebook Live because I was frustrated. Uh, was just having a bad day. Um, had a lot of other stuff going on. A bunch of meetings, bunch of phone calls, bunch of really good stuff. But as far as my actual production, it has it has sucked today. I remember when when I first got involved with the business that Joseph and I are involved are, and I are involved in. <laughs> there was this constant kind of theme in the beginning of, of failing your way to the top because I would come back uh, each week from being out in the field for three, four days at a time and I would come back and he'd say, hey, how many policies did you sell? And I'd say, oh, I sold 120 policies and thinking he'd be like, yeah, that's awesome. And he'd say, he'd say well, how many people did you see? And I said, I saw, you know, 250 people. <laughs> like that's terrible, <laughs> but but it was literally it was literally the case of of in my situation it was failing my way to the top because sure. I was just gonna outwork everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And so I very quickly had to realize that that all the goals that I had had to be set on uh, different things, not just policy sold, but things like close ratios sure. and things like that that I had to start that I had to start setting because what I was seeing as a success, somebody else was seeing uh, as failure.